I have so much stuff to show you, I actually don't know where to start. Right, I'm, I'll actually start with ASOS. So I ordered two things from ASOS. Um, the first thing, well, this is actually the second thing that I ordered. Sorry for the noise, I'm opening up my ASOS box. So it's this big gold belt here. And I saw um, on the AQAQ website, they had a belt that was very similar to this, but I think theirs was about £65. And I was about to buy that, but then I saw a girl with this, and I thought it was the AQAQ one. I was like, oh my god, I love your belt. I'm going to get mine from AQAQ as well. And she was like, no, mine's from ASOS. I was like, eh, excuse you? And I went on ASOS, and this was £30. Um, I'll leave the link in the description bar below. And it's just like a big gold belt. I just think it would look really nice with some outfits. Especially in like winter. I can put it over coats and stuff because it's big enough. I got it in a small. But as you can see like it kind of like it can stretch. And like get smaller as well. So yeah I really like that. Second thing I got from ASOS was this yellow bathing suit. And I actually wore this when I was in Alicante. Um, I'll insert the picture here. Such a stunning, stunning, beautiful place and because um, I'm a girl that's a bit more big and busty, what I do when I wear, this is the first time I've ever had like a bathing suit that's really plungy so they're like these sticky body things that you can get from boots and I basically just stick these around my breast so that my breasts don't fall out of the bathing suit but it is really, really nice. Sales were on recently and I went into Zara and I got a few things. The first thing I got was actually perfume. I was literally just queuing up and I saw it at the counter and it was really cheap. I think it was about maybe £20 or less but it has two um, scents one is fruity and one is oriental right the oriental one is my favorite this is the one that i've actually like kept in my bag for like the past week i put it back in the box for the sake of this video but i really like it it has a i can't really explain the scent but it is oriental but yeah i really like it and the fruity one is it is more for summer the fruity one is has more of a pinky look to it. they're 100 mil each and i think that's really good and they really smell nice as well they're just really good to like put in your purse and just have like as an everyday fragrance when you just want to smell nice i picked up these shoes from zara they are these leather court shoes and they really reminded me of the Kristen louboutins the pigals that like everyone seems to have but everyone says that they're really really uncomfortable these are they're not the most comfortable shoes but they're real leather so I know I can break into them and they don't feel that bad right now. I've only worn them once and I didn't start feeling uncomfortable until about like four hours in. So I know that the more I wear them the more comfortable they'll get. And yeah they're real leather and they only cost me $19.99 in the sale and I just think they'll look so nice in like blog posts and they'll also look nice like to work. But for work, I like to wear heels that are a bit shorter. Not kitten heels, but you know, a bit shorter. But I could rock these to work. Like, I really like them. They are, they're just gorgeous. And they're real leather as well for only £20. Another thing that I got from Zara, and I actually ordered this one on online. Just to say, Zara in-store delivery is literally like one of the best that I've ever done. Like, when they say three days, they actually mean three days. Some places, <clears throat> don't I? <clears throat> When they say three days, your thing gets comes into store like five days later, which is really annoying. But this came into the store pretty and quickly. So they are these shoes here. It's got the um, black insert inside, but they are just gorgeous. Like they are actually gorgeous, and they were only twenty pounds, and they weren't on sale. Like the actual price is twenty pounds. They came in a red and a beige as well, and they are really comfortable one thing I don't like about Zara shoes is that I think they're made for people with slim feet so in Zara shoes I'm a size 8 everywhere else I'm a size 6 or 7 so that's the only um, thing but apart from that like I love the color just love everything about them keeping with the um, shoe trend I also got a pair of shoes from New Look and this was just by accident I usually I always have shoes in my car and that day I forgot to just for some reason I didn't have shoes that matched my outfit in my car my car doubles up as like a second wardrobe so I picked up these from New Look and they are I really like them like I've worn them um, twice and they are really comfortable like I didn't have to break them in or anything and they look like this and um, they're not that high either and they just have this kind of crisscrossing detail going on on your foot it looks really nice and I like the fact that it is it's a closed shoe because I've come to the realization that a lot of my shoes are open toe and when it comes to winter time 
you don't really want to be wearing like open toe shoes but yeah I do really like them they are so nice I also got some shoes from Public Desire you guys would have already seen these shoes because they were in my all white lookbook and a lot of people were saying that they really like them so yeah they're these shoes here and they just look so so nice I know winter is coming up but I'd wear them in winter as well just because they are so so nice but they have been so perfect for summer and I know I think misguided has the exact same shoe as well but on misguided it's a bit more expensive and I got them public desire I can't remember for how much I think about maybe 34 or 40 pounds but public desire does 15 percent student discount and for the short period of time that i am still a student i'm going to use that student discount wisely so yeah i really like them and um, they look better on than when i hold them if you want to see what they look like on check out my all white lookbook i'll link it in the description bar below i went into h&m and honestly guys i feel like h&m is becoming one of my favorite stores but they have been coming out with a lot of things that i have been really really liking so I'll show you, I got some sale stuff and I got some full price stuff as well. I'll show you, I'll show you the full price stuff first. So the first thing I got was this um, dress here which is right up my lane. This is so Michelle, it's patterned, it's flowy, it's a dress, it has a side split as well. Very in line with that I think 60s, 70s trend that's going on right now. Very funky print and I love the colour of the print. It doesn't look like much when you hold it because when I first saw it I didn't really like it. So I was like I don't know really if I really want to get it. Then I saw Shirley's haul and I saw that she picked it up and when I saw it on her and she looked really nice I was like okay let me get it and Honestly, I'm so happy I got this dress. This is like, this is like my kind of dress. And this dress photographs so, so beautifully. Um, once again, I have some pictures of me wearing the dress on my Instagram. I will link it below. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then why not? Make sure you follow me at Michelle with two E's and an underscore. I picked up this jumpsuit and I actually picked this up when I was in Norway. So I picked it up in a Norwegian H&M. Um, Y'all... Don't go to Norway for shopping because that place is expensive but H&M is a Scandinavian store so I think the H&M's there get things quicker than we do and what I got is, is this kind of layered jumpsuit but the big thing is that the back is completely exposed and it has like these wings it really reminds me of a dress that I really wanted to get in Zara it was this yellow dress and it had literally like the same kind of open back um, style but the dress went into sale and I think everyone literally snatched it up but I'm actually happy that I didn't get that dress because that dress was bright yellow and I have a lot of bright colours in my wardrobe whereas I don't have a lot of black and I think this is like it just looks so gorgeous on it has complete open back I love the bat wings so like if it's windy when you wear it like <laughs> your wings will be flapping <laughs> And I just think it looks nice. While I was in Norway, I also picked up this top here from H&M. And this was on sale. This only cost me 100 corona, which is about £10. I did vlog my time in Norway, so I'm going to have that up. You, I think you guys are going to... You're going to see a different side of me in that vlog. Because I'm with my family and I am so... like I always tell my mom, our family should have a reality TV show. Although I, it would never happen because we're really private. But my family is far me so I think you guys are gonna enjoy that vlog but I'll have that up for you so I got this shirt here and I just I just really liked it and it was only a hundred corona which is pretty cheap in Norwegian standards I think it'll look nice in like autumn as well I love the colors I also picked up this top in the cell in England and it's just has a very nice drapey detail I think it'll look really nice for work especially with some black trousers it's a sheer material so it'll be quite airy as well and it has like this little bow at the bottom I got this black I think it's a night dress but I think you could probably wear it on like an everyday basis with like an insert obviously but it's just really nice and I don't have a lot of like nightwear so I just thought it was nice it's like this really long sheer night um, gown and yeah it's just really really nice and it has like lace detailing it also has slits at the sides and it has um, strings so you can tie it so it's quite loose as well I like the fact that it's airy I picked up this um, maxi dress and aside from the jumpsuit and the other dress I got I think this is like my other favorite of my purchases because I haven't purchased a maxi dress in like I think a good like two summers ago I am so into my midi and fit and flare dresses but this really caught my eye because number one it was 10 pounds from I think oh it doesn't have the price but it was only 10 pounds and it has pockets 
I really like that and I like the fact that it has a V line which is really good for girls that are busty and the back is like this I really like it and I love the print as well um, I might wear this on my holiday if not I will wear it next summer a lot of the time I like to use like the summer cells to prepare for next summer I know some people are like oh but it's um two three seasons ago it doesn't matter as long as you can rock it well honey you think it's new season and if you really really care about like seasons and stuff just say it's vintage if it's really that deep the last thing I got from H&M were these trousers which are for work I like the fact that they have the faux leather at the top I have a blazer that has faux leather um I think it's panels maybe it's called but like the collars and stuff and with this like it will look like it's a matching suit so that's why I picked it up I also went into Topshop and I went into the Topshop outlet near my house. The first thing I got was this turtleneck crop jumper and I think this is in line with once again the 70s or 60s trend that's very in right now because it has this kind of, I don't know, like petally or flowery detail at the top but I really like the colour, it's maroon. I think it will be really good for like this autumn and winter. And I'm so 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 excited because I finally got my hand on a pair of mum jeans and these only cost me 15 pounds and yeah they're mum jeans and they're high waisted they kind of look like levi's they've got the um they've got the like cutouts to make them look a bit more scruffy and vintage but yeah they basically look like that and tapered at the leg i think this with like the turtleneck and i have this belt from stradivari that has a little pouch with it i just think it would look so cute all together i might actually do like an outfit of the day with that outfit i also picked up these shoes from topshop can you see a trend in my shoe collection they look like they're quite similar to the ones i got from zara they have the um i don't know what to call it but yeah the Chris the lines maybe they're really really nice and really comfortable when my mom saw these she said that they kind of look like prostitute heels and I was like mother that is so cheeky but then when I looked in her shoe collection she had shoes that look exactly like this so you know I also picked up some makeup well I was gifted some makeup when I went to Oslo Um, I filmed a video with one of my friends Aji Ami she's at MUA and she works for Mac in Oslo um, so yeah we filmed a video a get ready with me where she did my makeup because we were going out honestly I'm gonna post the picture right now like my makeup has never looked like that. actually I've had one person do my makeup before but it wasn't as good as, ha as how Aji Ami did it she also has a YouTube channel which I will link below like literally go to her YouTube and tell her she needs to start making videos again she has promised that she will but just you know she needs a little bit of motivation so yeah and she gifted me with two things while she was doing my makeup the first is a blush it's called raisin and it looks like this it is really really nice I have tried it on and it looks so gorgeous on dark skin I think it will work for any skin tone but I'm not really a blush girl but this yeah I'm definitely gonna be using this she also got me a lipstick this is Russian red and it is a matte lipstick so it looks like this and this is actually my first ever MAC lipstick <laughs> like I'm not really a MAC girl I know MAC is like one thing that every girl has in their makeup collection but my makeup collection is pretty small but I am venturing out because I do want to I want to step up my makeup game Aji Ami alongside like my cousin I think have co converted me into a MAC girl because after that I ord I've actually made like a big order on MAC I think I got like their baked blush like this gold blush thing and um the concealer palette but they haven't come yet but what I also picked up while I was in Oslo is a lipstick that my cousin had and this is called Velvet Teddy so I used hers and I was like oh my god I love this it's a matte velvet nude and it looks like this this with max chestnut eyeliner or there's a Kiko eyeliner I don't know the name off the top of my head but I'll put it like here that lip liner or chestnut by MAC with velvet teddy looks so so good so yeah I got velvet teddy so this is now my second MAC lipstick <laughs> I picked up one of um, Sleek's MAC Me ultra smooth matte lip creams and this one is called birthday suit so yeah I picked up birthday suit and once again I've seen this floating around in the blogosphere it looks like this just another nude color it kind of it looks a tiny bit like velvet teddy but I think this has a 
just a tiny bit of more of a pinkish tint to it. I went into Kiko Milano again and I got their Matte Mousse Oil Free Foundation. Honestly, if you are someone like me and you have really, really oily skin, this will work wonders for you. Like, it is actually, like, it's matte. Matte, 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 matte. The only thing is, because it's like a mousse, it's, like, it looks gorgeous. It looks flawless. This is, I think, one of the few foundations that is exactly my skin tone. Like, it is the exact colour of the skin on my face and because of that it looks really flawless and I, I just really looks airbrushed when I wear this foundation and this foundation was only five pounds and I think it was on sale because it's usually about 10 or 12 pounds but yeah it only cost me five pounds this will definitely be my everyday foundation if you guys want me to do like an in-depth review of it I will I am gonna do like a foundation collection video someone did request it and I will do it but there's certain foundations in my collection that I'm actually gonna do like a full video just dedicated to them and this will definitely be one of them because it's really inexpensive and it looks like airbrush like short so that is everything that i got i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye